I'm Dr. David L. Pike, and this is my new book, After the End, Cold War Culture and Apocalyptic Imaginations in the 21st Century. After the End began in a very specific time, 2006, in a very specific place, London. I was reading Cormac McCarthy's post-apocalyptic novel, The Road, while researching a prior project. If you've read The Road, you know that it's one of the grimmest and most depressing stories ever written. But there's a single moment in it that's comforting, familiar, and even beautiful. On the brink of starvation, a father and son stumble on a pristine backyard bomb shelter, fully stocked with everything they need to survive and even prosper. The interlude does not last long, but the setting haunted me. Why this moment, and why this space? Why this fantastic imagination surrounding the bunker, still in the 21st century? After the End is about these moments in global culture since the end of the Cold War 35 years ago, about what I call the bunker fantasy. It asks why this fantasy persists in literature, film, journalism, art, music, and the built environment long after the decades in which fallout shelters and bunkers were promoted as viable survival strategies. It takes a close look at bunkers and sheltering in white supremacist writings and prepper lore, but it also shows how these familiar fantasies are mobilized critically in culture from the global south and marginalized communities in the global north. And it explains why they're recurring so frequently in efforts to imagine and confront an ongoing climate crisis completely different in its dangers from the Cold War's promise of nuclear annihilation. The six chapters of this book explore these questions not only in the United States, but in examples ranging from Albania to Taiwan and from New Zealand to the Arctic Circle. They study not only literary landmarks like The Road, but also speculative fiction by Octavia Butler and others, not to mention reality television, horror movies, and even sitcoms. Only by a long, hard look at the allure of this enduring fantasy of bunkered survival can we understand the cultural work it is doing and seek more effective and less unequal ways of thinking about and confronting the world around us. To find out more, to order the book, or to read it online, please visit www.manchesteruniversitypress.co.uk or check your local library. Thank you.